All right. Lovely new shirt. I also have a brand new digital camera. The old camera, the um, well, the lens wasn't kind of like retracting, and the button wasn't. Well, the button fell off to so, you know record shit. So I'd have to jerry rig it every five minutes. But I digress. Supplement review time. Body fortress. Cinnamon swirl, yeah, cinnamon swirl whey protein. All right. Basic nutritional info. You get about about 19 scoops per tub. About that's about like 20, 25, depending on. Well, no, actually, I think this is around like 16 to 20, depending on where you go. 190 calories. Three and a half grams of fat, two grams saturated fat, eight carbs, four of them sugar, 30 grams of protein. And then it's got uh, gram and a half of creatine, monohydrate, gram and a half of taurine, gram and a half of all glutamine, which who cares? You know, taurine's in pretty much every fucking pre workout there is. Glutamine is very, very cheap to get and just add into a, a post workout or any type of shake you want. And, same as creatine, it's very, very cheap and easy to get a hold of. Alright, for the good. This is actually relatively versatile, right off the rack to cook with. I can make gingerbread muffins, I'm sorry, I can make gingerbread waffles, I can make gingerbread uh, pancakes, you know, like cinnamon raisin muffins, I can do some like, you know, you know, cook up some oatmeal, throw this into it, Dice up, you know, how, however big you're making a batch of oatmeal, you know, dice up some, you know, Granny Smith green apples, throw them in there, you got like, you know, apple cinnamon fucking oatmeal. So it's versatile in that regard. In terms of a basic protein shake, I'm not a very, very big, you know, like, throw like 30 different ingredients into a protein shake and make some, you know, you know, Frankenstein's monster, you know, ultimate shake. I'm basically the type of guy that just throws in, you know, milk, you know, glutamine creatine, my protein powder, which is chocolate, and then I throw in a little bit of peanut butter, uh, powdered peanut butter, and then that, that's it. That's, that's my protein. That's all I use. You know, that, that's, that's my post workout. In terms of this, this tastes like vanilla protein powder mixed with cinnamon, that's all. It's like, I, I, I've actually done that before. I've taken vanilla protein powder and mixed it with cinnamon because cinnamon can help control insulin. Now, in the ingredients listed, you got your super whey protein blend, whey protein concentrate, whey protein isolate maltodextrin, and remember, you're getting eight carbs per serving, so there's really not a lot of malto in this. Cinnamon bark powder, so they're putting real cinnamon in it, at least. And then, of course, natural artificial flavor, cellulose, gum, it's all being potassium, sucralose for the sweetener, and then soy lecithin as the... I don't know, the emulsifier, bonding agent, I guess, I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry, for enhanced mixability. Why am I thinking of emulsifier? I'm thinking of something different that we used back when I was in a factory for it. It's, it, it, it's good. Off the rack, if you want to cook with it, you want to add, like, um, higher levels of protein to your oatmeal with a cinnamon flavor. It, it's great for that. But you could also do the same thing by just taking vanilla protein powder and just like dousing the shit out of it with fucking cinnamon. I was expecting something different. I was expecting a more cinnamon flavor. Not like vanilla mixed with cinnamon flavor. I, I, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting something. I was expecting to be like fucking wild by this shit, because I was wild by the banana cream, like, the banana cream was like, holy shit, this is fucking amazing, but 
this this was just like kind of a lackluster flavor to me. You know, I really don't recommend it. If you like the taste, man, I mean, shit, just get regular fucking vanilla and mix cinnamon with it. If you want to. You know? But... I mean, it's not... It's, it's This isn't a wow-like fucking amazing flavor. It's just, again, vanilla mixed with fucking cinnamon to me. That's all it tastes like. wasn't really good, you know, I mean, well, I mean, it was good, I mean, it was, it was good for what I used it for, but, I'm not gonna, I'm, I don't recommend this, I recommend just basic, unless you're gonna, once again, cook with it, make some type of, you know, special baking concoction with it, or some special, like, Frankenstein's monster, you know, fucking protein shake out of it. You know, I don't recommend it for that. I, I don't recommend it for anything but that. I think it was a fairly good concept. It just wasn't executed properly at this stage. The banana cream that Body Fortress came out with that I already reviewed, that was executed just really well. That was like a really, really good flavor. It was good. It, it, it tasted good. It had a good aftertaste. You know, it wasn't, it, it didn't taste like I just put, like, bananas and fucking vanilla protein powder in that. It didn't taste like that. It tasted good. This was just vanilla mixed with cinnamon, man. I mean, that was it. I, yeah. Lackluster to me. I mean, it was, it, was, it was good for me to make gingerbread waffles out of it, but outside of that, I mean, to me, the uses are limited. It's, it's not as versatile as I want it to be. But, that's me. I, I give this like a middle of the road, you know, like, yeah, 5 out of 10, you know, rating, basically. If, if, you, if, now, if you prefer the taste, hey, man, by all means, you prefer the taste. I wasn't really wowed by it, man. It was decent. I got what I paid for. It was worth the money to me. It wasn't like horrifically bad. But I expected a better flavor. Peace out.